This week is all about Madrid. And food. And Halloween. And food. And, well, you get the point. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Last night we had plans to go out and check out some of the lights. It poured down rain from right after we finished eating until about 11 a.m. today. We've been through every kind of rain day is. So we just hung out in the room and it was really comfortable. I got some videos done. I read the book, so it was a good night. So I was looking around Madrid and there's a lot of places that have sandwiches, but I was trying to find something a little bit more substance than sandwiches. And this place, which I'm not sure is open yet, <laughs> came up on it. So we are going to try it, hopefully. They're supposed to open at noon. It doesn't look like they're open yet. Oh, that's Virginia and Kevin. They know what's up. So, you don't always know when they're gonna open. Online it says noon. It looks more closer to one o'clock. We walked past a place that looked good. I don't know the name of it, but it starts with an M and it's that way. Well, that place didn't open, so we're gonna try this place. I'm gonna try some of those right there. There's a lot of pictures and they all look good. Well, we got the menu and we got to our third thing we were ordering and the waiter said, that is a lot of food. If you need more, we'll bring you more later. <laughs> so, we'll go with the pro tips. And they also brought a Spanish tortilla to the table. Oh, it has so much food. It's flavorful. <laughs> I really like this. Okay, so now I know what people said. Order the Spanish omelet, I mean Spanish tortilla. You're no kidding, these are fantastic. So to break in for a moment, I did in fact order the huevos rotos that I said I was gonna order outside, but I got so excited about all the food, I forgot to film this one. So this is what Kate's about to eat, and it is, well, I'll let her tell you. The potatoes are really crispy and seasoned with a lot, enough salt to really make them crunch. And the ham with the egg, it's gooey. Oh, this is a winner. Look at the giant plate of veggies, the tortilla. That's really good. I'm glad we just saw this place and walked in. This is fantastic. I'm also very glad my man was kind enough to slow us down in the ordering process because we haven't eaten since yesterday lunch. <laughs> this is a lot of food. Every bite, I was just like, oh. Sitting over here like we've never eaten before. <laughs> the waiter walked by, he's like, see, that's enough food, huh? It's like, we'll see. Mm. The carnage. That was amazing, but wow, that was a lot. And now I'm gonna go take a nap. All of that, right here in like the downtown trendy area, 37 bucks. It was well worth every penny. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my god, that was amazing. Now we're off to guess where? Mercado! Kate wants to find a grocery store. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Gotta I keep the trend going. Spain. That's true. Well, this looks more like a mall than a grocery store, but we're gonna check it out anyway. After that lunch, I'm not feeling any more food. So it's probably a safe time for me to be in a grocery store. Security told us not to film inside the store, so of course we didn't. But we did buy some groceries, and this will be our go-to market. This is the door to our place. Isn't that cool? We just buzz in, and then we walk up five flights of stairs, and that's all for now. So I was reading about a gentleman who went to a grocery store, and he said, if you're ever going on a trip or a picnic, you have to buy this specific piece of meat. So we found it today, so I'm gonna try it. I was surprised, it has milk in it, it and uh, pork and beef. I don't have a knife, so it is called Twick. Just a cream cheese, slice of food. Mm -hmm. It tastes really good, it tastes like normal salami. It's supposed to be refrigerator, so we'll have to eat this tonight because we don't have a refrigerator. Oh, yeah, that's good. And it was only $2.50. The light show starts at 8 p.m. We're gonna head out and do that. Then come back here and watch the next game. Ha <laughs> football in Spain. Mm. It's starting. I have our path planned to see all the lights. Thank you. 
espacio libre, por favor. Por favor. Este margen de This is cool. has just gotten beautiful for this evening. It dumped for like 12 hours, now it's gorgeous. It's been a long time since I've seen a crowd this big. The fashion is so much fun to look at. Madrid is the coolest city I have been to in a very long time, if not ever. I do not remember being in a city just this far. I don't have another word for it. It's just cool. We gotta have some walk. Theater walk food. So last night we did half of the light show. We got back just in time for a very important event, Oregon football game, which I got to watch streaming. That's pretty damn cool. We're gonna catch the rest of them tonight, which is Sunday night, and it's also ta-da! Can't see it. Oh, oh. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween! <laughs> We're gonna go look at some parks. Parks, y'all. I, you know, there might be some animals, and we just saw a man with little birds eating out of his hand. He's right there. The guy's like Saint Francis. It is so cool. And they're not pigeons; they're the little. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just so fascinating. Everything around here is just so much fun. So, from the girl that did not want to go to Europe because she thought, "Oh, it's old. I don't need to see it." I said, no, when I get old, I'm supposed to go. Not when, okay, I'll just stop digging a hole. <laughs> it's beautiful and I'm really enjoying it. Are we heading off to a specific park now? Uh, down by the palace. I don't know the name of it. it. Used to be a royal stables, now it's a park. Sounds fun. Happy Halloween, baby. Most of the streets and landmarks have these really beautiful tile markers. I was walking around Kate and I just fell down the stairs. A peahen for Ever since I was little and saw The Shining, I've had love for labyrinths. My favorite so far is that big corn maze we did in New Zealand. So we're gonna go get lost in the giant maze. I caught these two colluding and cheating. Number one. Number two. Number three. And even though this is small, this place, it used to be the palace stables but now it's a garden with labyrinth in it. That's the line to get into the palace. I think we'll look at it from the outside. Hey, where's Peter, George, and Mary? There's Peter, still looking for George and Mary. Because when I make a bad joke, I ride that puppy till it's dead. The most epic view of Madrid, right this way. There's parrots in this tree. We've seen them all over the city. I'm really surprised there's actually parrots here. They're the yellow ones. Sorry. They're the green ones. Look at the green feathers in the back. They're beautiful. They probably escaped from some king's collection somewhere in history. I'll have to look this up and see. This is just like the reflexology path at the botanical gardens in Singapore. Only this time we're wearing shoes. The ouch, ouch, ouch trail. <laughs> Smooth ones, fantastic. That is quite the view up to the castle. Well, we finally found a gate that was open. 
It's a long walk around the park. Yeah. So we're gonna go in here and it looks like the, ca uh, the palace is right behind us. So we're in the right direction. Whatever dudes lived up there or live up there now, have a beautiful view of the parks. Yep. Pretty sure that was by design. <laughs> These are the parks of Sabatini. Parents are right there, there they go. Parrots! They get kind of down this, right there. I was wrong. These are the gardens of Campo de Mor Moro. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the peahens and pea chicks and peacocks. I don't think those are native. Peahens. <laughs> There's animals here. I'm really surprised that there are still roses here this time of year. Another one in my dream home. Well, we're a little wet, but we found the taco place. We have to eat some. Sure, you know, tacos. No, they have tinga. And that, I have never seen anywhere in Mexico. Also, have we mentioned, it's really raining. Tacos. Brings back memories. So the tacos were a little snack. So we're gonna try this place right below our hostel. It's already looking up, they gave me bread. Crusty bread, too. Really good bread. Thank God I got a snack first. By the way, this place is called Ham Paradise. This is the sandwich mixo huevo, which actually means ham and cheese sandwich with an egg. Here's just like it sounds. It's really good. Well, it's Halloween and we're gonna attempt to go out and see the rest of the Festival of Lights. Well, it started raining this afternoon, uh, right after our lunch, so we just went back to the room, hung out. We're gonna go out and try and do this. If it rains, we're not gonna stay out and get something wet and rain, but it looks cool and hopefully we can catch some of the costumes because there's been some really neat costumes. Kate is dressed as a cat lady and I'm dressed <laughs> as an Oregon fan. Yeah. Night two of the Festival of Lights. Well, the time it took us to get from the fifth floor down to the street, it started dumping buckets. So we might be in for the night. If not, we'll do a video on that. Otherwise, we'll catch you tomorrow. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the, the thumbs, thumbs up and, and subscribe. subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>